Mike, we're back at XYZ Machine Tools today. We've come to look once again at the UMC 5X. Things have moved on a lot. We've spoken about the spec of the machine before, which we will do again, but we're now here to see it in action. Tell us about the machine at the moment, what we're going to see. Um, well, today, Paul, we're, we're here to show a new concept of barrel milling, um, which is a new strategy developed by uh, Open Mind to retain surface finishes but decrease cycle times massively by up to about 90%. And it can't, this can't be done on all five axis machines, can it? it? You need to have a certain type of machine. What are the things that you need in a machine to be able to perform this operation? Oh, most definitely, Paul. You, you need to have rigidity in the machine. That's the major point of a machine. And our gantry style machine ensures that we get that rigidity. Also, the, the speed and, um, of the rotary and tilt axis are most important because this, this strategy is all about reducing cycle time. The C-axis on our UMC 5X at 90 RPM with a torque motor ensures that we get very fast rotational speeds. So when the cutter's getting from one side of the job to the other, then we need that speed in the machine. And when you are moving at that speed, like you've said already, you need, you need a stable construction, don't you? Just tell us about the makeup of this machine and how it is made. Well, it's a gantry style machine, as you can see. Um, that means that the, the construction of the machine is the maximum rigidity we can get. Um, with the torque motor on the C-axis, it's a very stable rotational motor in there. Um, and the way the machine's constructed, with linear rails fitted as standard, we ensure the accuracies that we're going to get on the machine are the utmost we can get. I notice on this machine as well, the table is supported both sides. Is it just driven one side or is it driven both? No, it's a trunnion style design. It is only driven off one side, but the bearings on both sides of the trunnion table are the same diameter. So you get equal support on both ends of the table. And the access is very good as well for setting. It's an important point and not necessarily involved in what you can machine on it. But people do like that, don't they? Engineers like to be able to get in and, and set parts easily. Oh, absolutely. Because one of the things we looked at when we were looking to bring a machine to our portfolio was access to the machine table. You know, you, there are machines that have got different styles, different designs, but access to the front of the machine was one of the things our potential customers told us they wanted most. With this machine and the operation we're going to be doing today, what speeds and feeds are you operating at? Well, the barrel milling concept, which is the bit we're going to show today, we're running the spindle at 15,000 RPM. Um, the machine is available with 12, 15, 18 or 24,000, but this machine here today has got 15,000 RPM. And, and what about the, the feed rates of the actual cutting operation? It's very, very quick. You know, we, we're talking feed rates that we wouldn't normally use on a machine. So how fast is it? In terms of feed rate, we're actually cutting at the moment at two and a half meters a minute with the 15,000 RPM spindle. Um, but we're in early stages of developing these strategies, so we do feel that we can probably push it a little bit more. And when you're cutting at those speeds, the, the machine is great if it's removing material, but it needs to maintain accuracy on a part. In your opinion, how does this machine do that? Well, obviously it's built on cast iron rigid structure to start with. Um, then we fit linear scales to ensure we get accuracy on the X, Y and Z axis. The tilt rotary table, of course, uh, gives us great speed and rigidity, the way it's built, the bearings are the same, same size both sides of the table. And also, of course, it's important for us uh, that we maintain all of those accuracies with thermal compensation built into the machine as a standard feature. A, a lot of these things you've mentioned here on other machine tools are offered as options, so it's quite good to think that you're bringing them in as standard. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, to maintain, maintain accuracy on the tilt rotary, we ensure that our encoders are on the centre of the pivot points of both tiltery and rotary axis. So that means that when we set up the kinematics on the machine, we know everything is going to retain its accuracy. The work in envelopes is important as well. I've spoken to a few engineers that have seen these machines and one of the things that they like about it is the 500mm height of component. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, the, the positionals of the machine, we've got x-axis of 600, y-axis of 600 and z-axis of 500. But most important for us is the way that the machine is configured is that when we tilt the table to its horizontal position with the y-axis having 600, 500 of that is still forward of the table. So with a 500 high component, we can still reach the front of that part when it's actually tilted over at 90 degrees. And what would be the maximum weight of that part as well? Uh, the maximum weight we can put on the table is 600 kilograms. So again, that's where the torque axis motor benefits from us that we can power jobs that size on the machine itself. And the material that we're seeing cut today, what is this? Uh, today we're cutting some aluminium, um, but we have already done tests for a couple of customers. One of those was in Inconel, and we found the machine was really, really stable and cut really well and gave us excellent surface finishes. 
Now, it's, it's, it's great if the machine can cope with the demands of what we, we're seeing here, but what about the control here and the processing speed of, of, of code? Because that's key too, isn't it? It is, and that's why XYZ have selected both Siemens and Hyde 9 as the two controllers that we're going to fit. We believe they're the two market leaders in five-axis control. So the machines that we've got in stock in Devon have got Siemens and Hyde 9 on. That's the 840D SL Siemens control and the ITNC 640 Hyde 9. Does this really demonstrate this, uh, this demo here, that XYZ aren't just supplying the market with an economical, uh, good value for money machine, they're also supplying a machine that's of premium quality, high precision uh, for all markets? I think you're right, Paul. I think from the interest that we've had shown on this product already to the market, we're finding that customers are coming to talk to us that have looked at some very high brands in, in the marketplace and so we're quite impressed that we're, we're being classed as that same technology and, and quality that people want from a five axis machine.